I'm Ian Hugel, and this is my capstone project, Next Steps PC Case Design. We're talking about computers, but our journey actually begins here, in the Mediterranean Sea. This is the site of a shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera, Greece. So in 1901, there were these two sponge divers, and they were exploring the area. They not only found the shipwreck, but they also found what we know as the world's oldest computer. That would be the Antikythera Mechanism. It's dated back to around 200 BC, extremely old, and it's suspected that it was used for things like tracking the orbits of the planets. Archaeologists have uncovered a lot more pieces to the Antikythera mechanism, and some artists have recreated what it might have looked like. And that's this. The reason why I bring this up and why it's so important to this project is because there's a lovely wooden box encasing the mechanism which goes to show that all computers need cases. And that serves as an inspiration for my project going forward. Another next step in computer design is gonna be here, a long time later. Those computers in the back there, they're very, very advanced for this time, yet they are still a fraction as powerful as what you have in your pocket right now, your iPhone. Yet they fill the whole room. Moving forward, another next step in computers is in the 70s with IBM. And this is when computers started getting a little bit more personal and they started becoming less in the office and more in the home. They also started to become more powerful. Another next step in computer design is with Apple. When they released the iMac, it was very colorful and it was transparent. You could start to see the parts inside. And this is when an appreciation started to rise to the internal components of the computer, at least being able to see them inside the case. It's when aesthetics started becoming more important when you're dealing with PCs. So another next step, we're gonna go to modern day. This is what a modern day PC might look like. This is my PC. On the left, you can see the parts I used to build the PC. And on the right, you can see my finished PC. That big black bar in the middle there, that is the GPU. It's one of the most powerful parts in the PC. It's also the biggest part. And what it does is it processes all the video or rendering that might need to be done. Above that is the CPU, which does the rest of the processing. And to the right of that are the RAM sticks. You can see that they're lit up. Those process the immediate memory that needs to be done. So in between those two parts, you can see those two tubes running up to the back of the case. Those are actually water tubes. That's all one part the circle over the CPU, the tubes that run to the back, and the fans that are connected to it. Behind those fans are a radiator. This is also included in that part. This is called an all-in-one cooler. And what this does is it takes the heat from the CPU, disperses it through one of the tubes through water, then the heat that transfers from the water to the fans is dispersed through the radiator. Then when the water is cooled, it runs back to the CPU to absorb more heat. This is one way of cooling CPU. There's also strictly air cooling, which is usually looks like a fan just placed on top of the CPU. And on the other hand, we have strictly water cooling, which might look like this. Some tubes that you can customize, a water tank, some fans, all these go hand in hand to create a water cooling system. Moving forward, this is a chart of how many times the words how to build a PC were searched in the last 13 years. As you can see, it is on a upward trend and it spikes in 2020 for reasons we all know why. And it's expected to continue to rise, which just means people are looking more and more into building their own PC as opposed to any alternative in the market. This is the contents of the presentation. We already went over the story of PCs. Now let's get on to the market which includes the personas, brief, and goals, ideation, which shows my sketches and some of my branding processes, and then the final products. I'll show you my renders, features, and conclusion. Starting off with the market, we have our brief personas and goals. Our brief is create three PC cases that each appeal to a different budget and target market. Now let's get into some personas. Starting off with Isaiah. Isaiah is a 35-year-old man he is a husband and a father. He's very busy. He wants to make time to focus on his hobbies, 
and buying a PC is the first step in enabling him to create a functional workspace. He wants something that's extremely affordable, easy to assemble, and very utilitarian and aesthetic. He doesn't want to buy a pre-built PC because he wants to have that experience with his kids. Maybe it could be used as a learning experience for them. Moving on, we have Melissa. She is a current student and she loves aesthetic, biophilic, sustainable, unique design. She has plants all over her room and her desk and she wants a PC that can really just fit into that. And she wants something that can run her games and be more powerful. This is Samuel. He is 26 and he loves, absolutely loves the highest quality conglomerate of things that he can get. He is a streamer and animator and he has a lot of subscribers on Twitch, so he makes a lot of money. He has a big budget for redesigning his setup. Again, he loves the highest quality things mashed together. That's why he owns a Jabarian Shevsky and that's why he also drives a Toyota Super Mark V, which as we all know, it's just a BMW on the inside. He's tired of his laptop crashing and overheating, and he's ready to build a new PC setup. The interesting thing about Samuel is that he wants to have two PCs, one to run his streaming and one to run his games. So some of the goals of this project is to create three models of PC cases. One that focuses on value and affordability. Another that focuses on unique design being original. And the final one focuses on performance and just getting the best out of the case. Some questions might be, how can the case be packed flat? How can I bring nature into my PC? And how can I best use two of the same cases? So here's some of the ideation I went through when starting this project. So I also thought about branding during the design process and how that might tie into the design. But really I wanted to focus on meeting the user's goals. And I was thinking a lot about the ATX form factor. I had to really study that to understand it. And I also started to think about how to incorporate plants into a PC case design. Here's some logo ideation. I was trying to come up with something that really represented the Antikythera mechanism as it serves as my inspiration. Here's the branding that I finally landed on with the name being Thera. Let's look at some final products, some renders, features, and conclusions. So this is Isaiah's PC. As you can see, he pulls it out of the package. It's quickly unfolded into the PC case shape. Clips were put in so it secures, and then you simply put the doors on, and it comes with that signature Thera glass front. Here's some more colorways, and you can see the back there. Also some more angles of those colors. This is how the branding might be implemented onto the case. And finally, here's some more colorways that I thought would be fitting. When you have a more affordable model, you can really take advantage of that and create all sorts of fun colors for it. So some of the features are a $50 to $70 price range, very affordable. It is an ATX mid tower, but it's actually kind of small compared to some of the more performance cases that are out there. And it supports air and water cooling. So now let's take a look at Melissa's case. As you can see, there's this enclosure on the front. This case has a fully functional plant growing system. It's going to be watered and there's a grow light equipped in the top as well. The plant housing can be taken off and easily cleaned. The pot can also be removed and there's a tank in the case that when filled, it automatically waters the plant when it needs, depending on the plant type you chose. This is all stuff that you can tell the case through software. Here's another angle showing that. Also, another unique thing about this case is that the tank supports water cooling. If you wanted to hook up your water cooling system to the tank, it'll make use of that and it will also let you know when it needs to be refilled. You can also use it with an all-in-one cooler like I showed you earlier, but I wouldn't recommend strictly air cooling this case because that enclosure blocks a spot for another fan. Here's another side view of the charcoal gray colorway and a back view. And this is what it might look like housing a plant. As you can see, I chose a snake plant here. And I'll talk about why that is in a second. Here's some ideal plant types that I recommend using. Um, that's going to be the cacti, the pothos, and the snake plant. All these plants have something in common. And it's that they do well in heat. They do well without a lot of water. And just 
are able to adapt to all sorts of environments. As you can see, there's a hook in the top where you can hang a plant if you want to. And at the top, it'll simply mist down water from the tank when the plant needs water. Some of the product features for this case is a $100 to $150 price range, strictly water-cooled, and it has the fully functional plant growing system equipped with a grow light and water and mister. It's going to be about 30 pounds, two colorways. Again, this is a mid-tower case. Now let's look at Samuel's PC case. This one is really interesting because, as you can see, there's two configurations. Once you get this case, you can either build it right side up or upside down. And the reason for this is that normally all cases are made for the right side of your desk. That's because all motherboards are made the same and their ports are on the left. And when you want to see your parts with glass panels, you want those glass panels facing you. <laughs> so all PC cases in that configuration are going to be on the right side of your desk so you can see into it. Now, if you wanted a case on the left side of your desk, all you would have to do is simply build it upside down. But there's no other case that allows you to just choose if you want to build it upside down or right side up after you purchase. Here's another view of the white colorway. As you can see, there's a black strip on the right that is actually going to be a screen. You can put things on the screen like an extension of your wallpaper, and you can also use it for showing the vitals of your PC, the temperature, the processing power that's being taken up. You can really do anything with this. It serves as another monitor. Here's the black colorway. And then this is also the black colorway, but reversed. This is what it might look like in a setup. As you can see, the wallpaper is being projected further past the monitor onto the screens of the case. Some of the product features of this case are a $200 to $250 price range. It's going to be a bit more expensive because you get more with it. It's got room for nine fans, air cooling and water cooling. It's reversible. It's got the yin and the yang colorways. And it's going to be an ATX full tower size much larger than the other two cases. So how did the project fit the brief? Let's look at the goals again. Value, design, and function. One model should be more affordable. Another model should be more focused on design. And the last model should be focused on performance. Our brief was create three PC cases that each appeal to a different budget and target market. And I think these three cases accomplish exactly those things. Thank you so much. That concludes this presentation. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn.